So maybe you found yourself that you have purchased the Straker Nutrition Co. macro reporting template, but the date format is in a foreign date format. Um, I'm from the United States, so we use the month, day, year format, but if you're somewhere perhaps like United Kingdom or Australia and you use the day, month format, uh, this will help you out. So the first thing we want to do is come up here to file and come down to the spreadsheet settings. So you can see here, the locale is set to the United States. Um, you will wanna update that to the locale that works for you. For this example, I am going to use Australia and click save settings. And that is going to do its thing. And then what next, I'm going to come in here and you can see it's formatted here for me already. So it has the day here first now. So what I wanna do is update it to today's date so that it makes sense that we're using um, realistic dates. So today is February 7th. I'm going to enter that. That is going to run through and process all the changes here. And you can see now this is in a, uh, still in the old format that it was set to. So what I want to do is come up here, highlight this row and go to format, to number, and then the date. So you can see here in date, day is first, then month followed by year. So I will select that, hit okay. And then it's going to kind of process, run through. And now we can see that the um, day is first and then the month. So next what I wanna do is kind of hit this little um, arrow here between columns C and F to open up um, a hidden column D and just double check that they match. So here we go, 2021 and, or sorry, 2020 of, the, uh, of February. And this is kind of an auto update because let's say I put some data in here. Um, it will only update, now I'm clicking on the reporting for the graphing, it will only show dates up to where, uh, that have data. So you're not looking at a graph of the entire year when you only have like one month of information. So we'll come back through here and double check these. These are still in the old format. So if I come back to here and I click on this, let's format this one, number and the date. So that will format that entire column in that same format for the international format. Now, if I come back over here, I can see that it's updated. So I have my day first, then my month, February, and the year, and so on. So the reporting sheet is updated. The tracking sheet is updated. Let's make sure we um, click on column D and then hide that column again because we don't necessarily want that open. We don't want anyone messing with that automated column. So the last thing we have to do now is, I'm sorry, we come over to weekly reports and we need to modify these as well. So these labels here in each of our blocks and then the label I have here as well. So this will require a little bit more, but pretty straightforward. Um, just note what these two columns look like because I'm going to bulk edit it and then we'll just uh, have to manually change those again. So again, I highlight the entire column, format, number, come down to date, make sure it's the correct date format you want, click OK, and it will go through and batch process that, and then I just have to come back in here, type manually type one and two, um, so that those will go back to the way they were. So now, again, today is February 7th, I have my week here, and then if I scroll down to the next one, we're picking up on the 14th. So the only thing left to change are these labels right here. So this one we have to do a little bit differently because of this formula, formula that is up here. So because it's a text string, we're just gonna have to do a pretty simple find and replace. So we come to edit, sorry, edit, down to find and replace, and then we have to type in our string. So um, what we want to do is match exactly what is here. So I'm gonna start with an open double quote, month, month, forward slash day day and I want to replace that with again using my open or my double quote now instead day day slash forward slash month month. I don't want to search all sheets. I only want to search this sheet and I want to um, also search within formulas because all of these up here are in a formula. So what I want to do first is I just want to click find and make sure that my math checks out and then I want to click find just a couple times and know that it's picking up exactly what I want. So it is, I'm going to hit replace all, 
hit OK. It's going to think for a little bit and do its thing. And then when I come back up here to the top, I can see that now this label matches the international date format with the day first, then the month and the year. And then the again, the day, month, year matches here. Today is February 7th. This check-in period would be until February 13th, match, matches up. Let's check the second one, the 14th until the 20th, 14th until the 20th, and so on. So that is how you can come through here and update these dates to match what you and your client use for locale. So I'm going to double check these again, make sure those are all still fine, come back into my reporting. The dates look fine here. I'll scroll down again, 7th February with the date first, date first, date first, and that is how you can update all of these.